Welcome to the 12 version of the Mesh Deformation Package. I am going to introduce you the latest features and improvements. All the other features and package basics can be found in the older documentation videos. Let's start with the latest version of the Sculpting Pro modifier. Let's create a simple quad object. Adjust its rotation and scale and add mesh priority to component. Also, make sure you have enabled the shaded wireframe editor. As we already know, the quad has very few vertices, so we are going to use the new subdivision function which will increase the count. Simply choose the value and press subdivide. You can see the vertices count has increased rapidly. Press create a new mesh reference, the reset objects transform and add a sculpting pro modifier. Multi-threading will be automatically enabled as the mesh is too high poly. Everything seems to be set up. All we need is to enable the edit mode. Now we can edit the mesh in the editor. Set the sculpt mode to custom direction as we are going to sculpt just a planner object. Edit brush size and strength as you wish. Also, you can use the new height limitations to limit the vertices height. Sculpting type allows you to edit sculpting smoothness. Exponential type makes it definitely smoother. Now, let's try to make a sculpting at runtime. Just disable edit mode and enable at runtime. Everything is ready, just press start and check the results. It works beautifully and now you can play with the new functions such as sculpting noise. You are able to change the brush size and strength by UI events which is very quick alternative at runtime. Create UI sliders and assign specific values to make it work. The new version of Sculpting Pro allows you to create and edit incredibly high poly objects with plenty of new functions. Sculpting Pro is regularly updated. The next brand, new feature in the Mesh Deformation Package in version 12, is Vertex Editor at runtime. Let's create a custom sphere, add Mesh Pro Editor component and create a new reference. I would like to use my custom vertex pattern, so let's create the cubes instead of spheres. Delete color and press generate. Now it's ready. 
make sure you enabled the animation mode to keep the vertices up. At last, let's create a mesh edit runtime component. Everything is ready, press start. works as easily as in the editor. You can use few functions as allows you to limit some vertexes, speed interactions, etc. But let's see how the axis editor works. Enable the axis editor mode. As you can see, the axis editor requires some specific target object that you are going to edit and the editor axis object which will represent the location arrow. Drag and drop the editable sphere in the specific field and press create axis object automatically. As you can see, the axis has been created successfully. You are very free to edit its content, shape or even color. However, the naming is very important. Edit the selection color and press start. The editor is exactly the same as in the Unity's editor. You can select multiple vertices, add vertices, remove vertices from the list, and many more. It's so fun to play around. The only limitation in the vertex editor is performance. Mesh Deformation Package is a package full of mesh modifiers, functions and shaders. It's not focused on any advanced category such as Mesh Editor like you know in external softwares like Blender, but it does contain the basics of it. We have many other modifiers available including Mesh Damage, Interactive Landscape, GPU Easy Mesh Tracking, Noise, Twist, Bending, Mesh Drawing, Sculpting and many many more. Thank you for your attention, if you would like to know more about the package and modifiers, check out the previous documentations. Also, you may check the official examples of the package and the multi-platform support, such as VR or mobile. Thanks again and goodbye!